All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a glitched home base so that you guys can duplicate in Fortnite Save the World. All right, before we get into this video, you guys know what to do. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a ninja because you will be doing a lot of jumping and you want to have lots of ceiling, floor traps, and metal. You don't have to have metal, you can do other resources, but I, I do have metal. Right, you want to load it to your stone wood. Whoa. <laughs> right, so you guys want to load it to your stone base and let it load in. Make sure you guys have a ninja though. And yeah, you will be needing a lots of, I use uh, ceiling electric fields or gas traps and if for floor traps you can use uh, speed boost traps the speed boost things for your, for your hoverboard or you can use uh, four freeze traps I use a mixture of all four of those make sure you know what they said alright so since mine is already glitched out it would not let me load into a minute and 20 seconds left and that's perfectly fine going into it but if you guys want it, this will take a long time to build. Mine's already built, I'll just show you guys how to build it. If you don't want to take as long, get some friends to do it with you. Like I had two other friends helping me with it, so it, it didn't take as long. All right, so you guys wanna launch in. And the reason to do a glitch home base is that it lowers your FPS, um, which is your frames per second, for those who didn't know. And what it does with the lowering it is that it just makes the your game really glitchy so that Fortnite, I guess, doesn't really understand it, how to fix this though. So it's been out for a while and not most people know how to build a glitch on base. But uh, so, you know, you built your your home base when, yeah, like I said, is when it lets you out in the game between one minute and 20 seconds to one minute and 25 seconds. That's how you did it, did it right. And at the top right of your screen, it shows your FPS is fluctuating between like 14 and 15 stuff like that when you look around a normal FPS will be 30 so that's how you know uh, when your normal FPS is and that's how you know if it's good or not if you have really bad internet then you won't most likely have to build as much but I have pretty decent good to decent internet so I had to build a lot of traps and when it's gonna take me a while to load in so bear with me because I already have a glitch on base so it's gonna take a while to load but if, for those that don't know how to see your FPS I will show you once I load in we're ready to expand again I guess now that I'm when in my home base, you can see is my FPS is at 30. Fortunately, between 29 and 30, I'm looking over here. When I look at my glitch thing, it goes between, yeah, like 13, 14, 18, and that's how you know it's working. You see how laggy it is. You see the FPS is at the top, like middle right of my screen. If you don't know how to get that there, click the start button, go to settings, and go all the way down to show FPS and make sure that is on, and click Y to apply. All right, so what you guys want to do is you guys see how I have a entire like hotel and look, it looks really cool on the map or I guess you can't really see it yet. But so what you guys want to do is you want to place one floor here, one wall like that. Make sure you guys do all your building force before you do the traps because you want to be in negative uh, building. So like make sure uh, you see how this it's not touching. Make sure that it is not touching the uh, around the build the, uh, the mountain. Sorry for that. And you just go all the way around. You don't have to do it in this area. You can go farther back, but it's easier just to do like this. And then you just want to keep going up, up, and up, and up. And just do one wall right there each time. You just want to keep going up until you run out of building limit. The second you run out of building limit, see, like I cannot build, is when you want to start placing your traps. First, start placing your four traps and make sure that, say, like you actually put a, the wrong trap down, do not break it. Just keep going because you will not get your building back because a traps cost as building limit so each it's literally i'm in negative like three hundred thousand. like it's ridiculous how negative i am below well, three thousand but um so what you want to do is you want to keep going all the way up until you run out of building limit and i ran out of building limit all the way up there so that's why i had to keep going and then after you do that is when you want to start placing your traps first you just place all your floor traps you can either be these the building boost or floor free traps preferably ones of animations like that's why i chose these two because they both have the animations and you want to keep going all the way till you get to the top 
And if your SPS is still not flex tuning to like 14, 15, then you want to start placing your shielding traps all the way up. Yes, it does take a while and it does use a lot of mats, but trust me, it works at the end. But as you can tell, I can show you my storage with full of traps from duplicating like three times. So you guys can see my traps. I have thousands and thousands and thousands upon gas traps and sound walls. It's ridiculous how easy this glitch is and all you have to do is this. And if it doesn't work for you, then I'm so sorry for you, but you can just delete and you'll get all your stuff back. So there's no bad thing to try this, but that's all I have for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.